In this video, we're going to learn how to make a donut chart in R using both ggplot2 and plotly. Now, a donut chart is essentially the same thing as a pie chart. It just has a hole cut out of the middle, so there's some white space there. And so now before we start, I will say that the information you can show in a pie chart or a donut chart is usually better displayed as a bar chart because it's just easier to tell the relative sizes of things. Anyhow, we'll start by loading in the diamonds data set and some custom colors for our plot. And to make a donut chart with ggplot2, we essentially use the exact same construction we do for a pie chart, which means we're going to be calling ggplot with our data. We're going to pass the percentages that we calculated for the data set to the y aesthetic. We're going to fill based on color, and we're adding this chord polar, which switches from a stacked bar chart with the geom call. Usually this is just a normal column chart, but chord polar will switch this into a circular bar. And what will allow us to make this into a donut chart is actually setting a value for X. With the pie chart, we just leave this blank as an empty string, but here we're gonna set it the value two. And at the end, we're going to limit the X value to a given range, which will essentially slice a hole out of the middle of the pie. So when we run this, we will get a donut chart. Let's go look at it. And there's the result. Now we can make essentially the same chart with Plotly, which will also add some interactivity. So we'll show how to do that as well. We use the plot underscore ly function, pass in the data. Again, we want to categorize by the color variable. So we're passing that in for labels. We pass in the percentages, which are essentially the values or the values argument. The rest of this is just kind of chart formatting options you don't have to pay too much attention to. The important part is then we pipe this to add pi, which makes it a pie chart. And we add this extra argument whole to make it a donut chart. And that just specifies how large we want the center hole to be. We're just gonna do 0 0.6 in this example. So we can run this, we'll create a pie chart that will then cut out this hole in the middle, which will make it a donut chart. So as you can see, we made a donut chart here with Plotly this time. And then we can hover over the different slices to see exactly what the values are and what the associated categories are. So that is how to make donut charts in R using both ggplot2 and plotly. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.